welcome to my channel, The Vegan Home Economist. If you're new here, thank you, thank you so much for stopping by to check me out. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. Um, a little bit about my channel, I am a mom of three and most of my content is really about how to feed my family of vegetarians and vegans on a budget. It is possible, it is doable, I promise. So I know that there's been a lot of what's for dinner videos made on YouTube. Um, I'm going to try something a little bit different with that format. I'm going to try to record my dinner every night and post it the next day. So that way it's a little bit of a shorter video, but it's more instantaneous gratification for seeing uh, some of the meals that I'm making. So up first on our menu plan for this week was a mushroom and eggplant goulash, which was delicious um and I'm not really a fan of cooked mushrooms or eggplant um and, but it was very very good so here it is so these are the ingredients for tonight's dinner we have some potatoes some eggplant mushrooms uh it doesn't call for parsley but I'm adding it this is um an adaptation of two different recipes actually that I'm mashing together because we had only one eggplant from our misfits market box and one eggplant isn't really enough to feed our whole family so I'm making a mushroom and eggplant goulash. So I saw a recipe for mushroom goulash. I saw a recipe for eggplant goulash. So I'm kind of mixing them together. Uh, some veggie stock, which I made for my veggie scraps. Some diced tomatoes, bell pepper, onion, some garlic, smoked paprika, regular paprika, liquid smoke. And it calls for soy sauce, but since it's gluten-free, we're using the coconut. So I went ahead and um, chopped up the bell pepper, onion, and a little bit of the parsley. I'm going to get that sauteing in some olive oil. And then I'm going to add the mushroom, I'm sorry, <laughs> eggplant, garlic, and mushroom, and saute all that up together. All right, and once that's cooked down a little bit, you're going to go ahead and add some flour to um, thicken it up a little bit, and then add your stock and all the liquid ingredients. Um, this is the kind of flour I use if I have to eat thicken up or use for a roux. I use the King Arthur if it's um, the King Arthur one-to-one -one if I'm baking or using it for pancakes or something like that. Um, after the liquid ingredients are added and the paprikas, um, you're going to go ahead and add the potatoes. I'm going to add the extra parsley too and then it's going to simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes. And when it's done simmering, this is what it will look like. Like a stew. see the potatoes, the tomatoes, the eggplant. The mushrooms have kind of melted in a little bit. I tasted it for salt and pepper and I'm just going to let it cool just a little bit before serving. If you enjoyed that dinner um, as much as we did, if you liked it, um, I put the links to the original recipes that I got my inspiration from in the uh, description box. Um, if you liked it, go ahead, press that like button, comment, subscribe. If you'd like to see something different or if you don't like this format, also please comment and let me know. Um, up tomorrow, we'll, you'll see veggie burgers, baked beans, pea salad, and broccoli salad. And the pea salad I got from a collaboration I did, a virtual potluck collaboration. So I'll go ahead and link hers tomorrow um, for that original pea salad recipe that I'm making in a vegan version. Thanks everybody. See you soon. Bye-bye.